was getting some amber in here, this is some petrol, clean amber petrol, and it has a very highly tempted to say that it has a... Um... ago since i did a review of arames arames you know and that one had like a metallic you know clean vibe to it you know so when i saw arames modern leather you know i was just uh just going for it you know so now we have it at syntax store and you could get it arames the arames arames and then also the arames modern leather perfumery type you know and um generally i was looking forward to this i was very excited about this because um I was looking for like a pure leathery type, leathery kind of perfume, you know, especially because it says leather, you know. Um, so far, my, you know, I, you know, I like um, citrus perfumes, I like spicy perfumes, uh, but leathery perfumes are just something that I'm beginning to like a lot. I uh, did a review of Fierce, which has like a woody, pure woody type, you know. So now I'm, I'm also like um, certain perfumes that have like um, very specialized, you know, like wood, you know. Um, if it's leather, it's leather, you know. You know, when you smell this um, perfume oil type, Aramis Modern Leather Perfume oil type, it's generally leather, you know, generally a clean, nice leather, you know. The name does not disappoint, you know. It's a lot of times I've reviewed perfumes that have said something else and they, you know, you get something else from the notes. But Aramis Modern Leather is my top leathery notes, um, my top leathery perfume, um, perfume oil type. It's not like um very strong but you could smell it you know it's kind of like a refined leather you know it's not like those modern leather where you could feel like you have like a whole um you know <laughs> animal on your back but it has this nice refined leather that you could smell you know a lot of time most of the leathery notes leathery perfumes most of the leathery perfumes don't project nicely or it's not strong enough but it's um very refined you know you get nice leathery notes nice leathery um masculine note you know uh, but when i got this smell from the bottle i got this kind of clean vibe um some kind of rosy clean vibe um hints of rosiness and hints of clean clean notes in there um and then it has this nice kind of aroma but then dominantly it was leather you know it was just leather and leather and uh, i just loved it you know it reminded me a little bit of dirty english but dirty english is kind of like um, branch it off, branch itself into something else. Um, the only other things I could also remember remind me, other thing I could think of is like Fierce, um, Fierce um, by Abercrombie and Fitch, but Fierce is like more woody, you know, this is like more leather, you know. And as men, we love leather, you know, uh, we love leather since um, caveman days, you know, we love to hunt, and um, generally, as men, you know, as people, like we started, um, you know, using animal fur for. Um, for clothing you know and so the, the smell of leather is something that is kind of um, built into us it's something that um, it's kind of like naturally we are used to and we love you know and this is a very very nice leather like I truly love it you know and um, generally it's amazing you know uh, Aramis modern leather perfume type you know the notes and I was trying to see what's in there because the notes um, are very simple you know it opens out with the top notes of um, basil and thyme you know, and I was wondering what is thyme you know so thyme is thyme has this kind of minty smell you know so in the beginning it opens up with basil and thyme um, which I didn't necessarily get anything of again I got this kind of a uh, little bit of clean and then rosy kind of hint of rosiness and then it was all leather you know it was mostly leather very masculine very natural um, you know and so the middle notes it has geranium and patchouli, you know, and geranium is a uh, substitute that perfumers use to supplement um, roses, uh, rose notes. Instead of using rose notes, uh, perfumers use, perfumers use um, geranium to give it a powdery, rosy feel. You know, sometimes when you're smelling roses, uh, you smell this in a lot of natural notes. Um, and you smell this in a lot of natural perfumes using geranium instead of roses, you know. So geranium in the middle and patchouli, and of course the patchouli, uh, with the basil and the thyme, aka mint smell, you know, it was just amazing, you know. And then the bottom note, it has leather and it has oak moss, you know. Oak moss has this forest damp 
natural feel, you know. Yet it's very, very modern. It's very, very modern, you know. Um, I could see myself wearing this, um, you know, anyway, you know, to work, business, out there. Uh, other thing I realized was that it was very, very personal. Um, so the projection was kind of very decent, you know, it wasn't um, very, very beastly, but if somebody's close to you, they could smell it. And then you will also enjoy it because it's like kind of close to you. Uh, it wouldn't give you a headache or, you know, it wouldn't give you a headache, you know, but then it feels very, very nice and very, very um, amazing. You know, I truly, truly like this. I'm glad I have it. Like I said, this is going on my top leathery notes um, that you could get from Sentag. Aramis Modern Leather Perfume Oil Type, you know. So, um, check out this Perfume Oil. Um, let me know what you got. Um, if you used it, leave your comments below. Let me know what you feel from it. Uh, if you like this video, um, like this video the like button is right here make sure you like leave me a comment let me know what you think about this aramis modern leather type or if you use um the aramis aramis too as well and if you're not subscribed please make sure that you subscribe subscription button is right here below this video um, so you get my new videos when they come out each and every week um i look forward to those too as well you know but most important to get this perfume you could grab it from centag that come five dollars and ninety nine cents. I personally ship it to you, uh, free shipping. You know, so make sure that you grab a bottle. You know, the links are below this video. You could also jump straight to the website and um, you know type it in and get it too as well. You know, and then finally, this is um, finally you know if you've not visited the website, uh, I have a note called um, Scent Journal. You know, my private Scent Journal. That's where I, I write all the notes. And I break down all the perfumes and everything, you know. And I do write like a blog post on the website, you know. So that way, so that way you could catch up on every, anything that you miss, or just to follow up and to catch up, you know, um, as well, you know. So visit the website, visit my private sense journal, and um, you know, learn about the, the notes and also to know what to get and different things like that, you know. So that's it for today. Finally, make sure that you subscribe. Um, take care, and um, until next time.